Good morning, y'all. How we doing? Oh man, I gotta go get some caffeine. How we doing? Previously on Kimba TV. You you were here yesterday when we started drawing this, right? You know I love the bitch, bitch. You know? And anytime I draw a triangle, that's the play that I'm usually gonna be looking for, right? And then it might even be like a follow through combo, like a bitch, bitch, bitch. This approaching a level doesn't appetize us. Breaking a level doesn't appetize us. Bitch, you gotta do, convince us on the, that's the only time we would get bullish. What y'all think about this math, man? What y'all think about this? I don't know, gents. I think we're doing a pretty good job. God damn, man. Crypto Cockatoo says, is he longing or shorting? Holy shit. Not enough Latushi. Motherfuckers still be asking shit like that? Oh man, it's gotta be testnet. At this point, like, Y'all are testnet. If you're asking me what position, at this point, like, you're a testnet viewer. At some, at some point, it's, I'm the reality and y'all are testnet. It's like, how do you not juice? Alrighty, so at the end of the day, y'all, it's gonna come to can you, how many people were here? Uh, earlier when we talked about um, some people were like, oh, full rotation, daily open, value area high. Oh, shit, we lost value area high. Oh, shit, I'm going to be longing value area low. A lot of people were like, yo, what about longing value area low? I said, nope. Nope. And that's a great example of how I would get stopped out and profit there, but some people would actually long there and then lose money. So the point is, as this journey continues, even if I have not TP'd yet, the data that comes in afterwards when I say goodnight to you is going to make a difference on whether I actually did or not. At the end of the day, we're all looking at the same shit. Okay, so you're, it's up to you on what you want to decide. But in terms of TPing this long, getting into a head short, you do realize that we beat that shit to death. I could do this shit blindfolded, to be honest with you. I already know exactly what kind of edge I want. Did we get this? What's going on here? Do we have any sort of divs whatsoever? We have dink, 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 dink. You have a 30 minute candle closing in eight minutes. What you going to do? So even though I haven't closed, it doesn't mean anything. You might still see me. You might see me right now. I may not have closed anything, but if it does this later on, don't be mad at me if I'm in a short from there and I TP it all my lungs up there. Okay. Just pretend that I'm not here, brother. Right? This is your true pivot. Right here. Is it gonna... Or is it gonna... But the... Do you realize that the less riskier version, because... Putting blind limits here, half the time it's going to work out, half the time you're going to just get immediately stopped. Okay, there was a reason why I was talking about the three drives a little bit earlier. We're going to cover that in a little bit later, maybe even tomorrow morning. Um, but theoretically, probability wise, the safer trade is to wait and then try to take it there. 
Alrighty. So try all of these things and see the probabilities play out yourself. It's, it's kind of interesting. All right. And there is no right or wrong. I'm just the guy telling you what the book says. Okay. You can decide if the book is full of shit or if you want to do your own thing. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm s slowly doing my, I'm like moonwalking out of the stream, right? I'm, I want to see the hourly candle close. I want to see what the reaction is at the 7.5. Even if I see the reaction at the 7.5, it could, it could do this and it could be another fucking hour. You know, y'all know what, you know, you know what it is. You know, it's like a 28 to 26% chance that it's going to just do this. That, you know, the 33 to 34% probability is that it's going to pivot, rotate back up to the golden pocket to either do a bearish retest or, you know, turn that into support. I don't really want to wait for that shit anymore. I did. I tried to wait as long as I could. I told y'all that I would tell y'all uh, live pa pink if I get into a short. We're not in anything. Um, whether it was the earlier hidden bull div, whether it was, um, you know, identifying the 59,285, uh, trying to see if it could be a bearish structure, you know, waiting, being patient, no short. All righty. So doing the best that we can with the data that we have, and we'll continue to do the same thing. All right. K2M7. Oh my God. Why do you not hedge? What y'all think about this? I was with y'all all the way through the failed auction. What do you guys think? Stop the music for a second. What do you guys think about all this? See it? What y'all think about all this? Shout outs to everybody that was here last night for the 2 a.m. TA. Everything planned out, everything talked about. What y'all think about all this, man? Oh, well, we got four hours of sleep. Um, pretty fucking tired. Um, but I am going to be in Hawaii all week next week, so we can suck it up. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, as always, if you're, you know, scrambling and you're trying to figure out stuff now, it's already too late, right? Um, whether you're trying to look for an entry, whether you're trying to, um, I mean, whatever it is that you're trying to do, you don't want to be the one trying to figure out if you want to execute. Uh, Christy says, did I miss morning TA? Um, yeah, you may have. Um, I did the TA four hours ago. I was up four and a half hours ago. So, but I wouldn't really say that you missed TA. Um, do you know how long I've been talking about 59.59 to 59.5 is a hedge short or an area that I'm interested in shorting? What was the higher time frame plan that I had? Um, so I was there, I was here with you guys four and a half hours ago at two o'clock in the morning. So that's the TA that I already did. So hopefully exclamation rewind, um, activates pretty soon. But, um, yeah, I mean, you sh you should always have a plan and stick to it. So if you're in a situation where you didn't plan for this, then the juice is, um, you got to just plan better. Yeah, but um, on the higher time frame, we talked about 59 to 59K, 59.5 for a very long time. And I was here last night with you guys narrating this whole thing thing. Look at what it eventually did. I really hope that the rewind comes back on pretty soon because literally, bro, Like, we talked about this. Yeah, so make sure uh, when that comes back on. 
Uh, Nam God says, noob question, why the low of the fib from 568? Uh, instead of the candle wick at 57316, stop the music. You don't ever want to anchor on weakness. Not good. Clean. This? Not good. This? Better. Which is why you're seeing pixel perfect. Um, you always want to try to anchor on strength. Um, if you can, Nam God, it wouldn't be wrong to do this, but you've already lost all levels anyways. But you, um, if you, um, just kind of learn that, make sure you nerd out on Fibonacci because it's like textbook. They'll teach you what you should choose to anchor when you're drawing fibs. Um, alrighty. But that's like uh, just textbook sort of explanation on where you're supposed to anchor. There is no right or wrong, though. If you do have it like this, that's not wrong. So. Uh, Darquania says, and I'm still juicing with my short as you showed us the edge. Shout outs to you, Darquanius. It's pretty cool, right? I mean, like, look, even if I wasn't live last night, I don't know how many fucking times I talked about 59 to 59.5 as the area that I might want to short. So it's a lot easier we, when you can plan and anticipate, you know, and you don't really have to think about it on the spot. You just execute. Space Blob says, do you want to see shorts opening as we are going down? Um, at this point, I really don't care, to be honest, Space Blob. Um, the, really, the only thing that I really cared about is making sure that I get the head short. Um, and that's about it. So at this point, Space Blob, my goal is going to be to not get unnecessarily stopped out. Right? I need to be waiting. I need to watch out for something like this. I don't want to get stopped out on my head short right there, right? Um, the long isn't that big of a deal because we're so far away from my entry. Um, but yeah, I, I've already kind of like space blob. Have you been able to follow along with me the last couple of days? I'm not, there has been no plan that I mentioned on the higher time frame where I'm analyzing the data here. My, the level that I had identified for the past two days was, the past two days was what? 59 to 59.5. So as we approached, as we reacted, I was looking at open interest and CVD. I'm not looking at open interest and CVD now. Make sense? So for me, I can, you know, I can see shit like, oh, like this, this is rejecting here. That's bearish, right? It, it couldn't even do this. So 30 minute candle closes level by level. How long do we spend above? How long do we spend below? Do levels that need to get turned into support or resistance get turned into support or resistance? Give it enough time. S&P Confluence. Um, but space blob, the data right now, I don't think is going to be that much of an edge. That's why I don't really pay attention to the data that much unless we're approaching a level or reacting at a level that I already marked. Like a lot of people will be like, how do you work a normal job and trade at the same time and stream at the same time? It's because I'm not staring at the charts 24 seven, like a lot of people it's, it's, not going to make a difference if I'm staring at this shit or not. The levels are the levels. So you've been here all weeks. So yeah. So I've never had, I've never articulated, Hey man, after we get filled, we're going to watch the open interest. Mm. You know, I already had my level of interest. I watched, I, we react, I watched the reaction and now my bet is made. So the only thing that I really 
want to avoid is to not get I don't want like something like that to happen and then I get foolishly stopped out on the short. But other than that, if you really think about it, Space Blob, you've been with me for the last the whole week, right? So on Monday, I got a long from there. And last night at 2 a.m. or like 3 a.m., whenever I, the conditional order got filled, I got a, a short from 59. And hasn't that been basically the plan? I want to have my positions going into CPI. And then whatever happens, whatever happens, right? What, what do you think about that planning and execution space blob? I got the Monday low long and I got the 59, 59.5 uh, zone head short that I was waiting for. I'm not really overcomplicating it. Did I take any shorts at all before we got here? Nope. So again, brother, I'm not going to really overcomplicate it. And the only thing that I would be quote unquote worried about, like I said, would be if we get some goofy shit like that and I get stopped out on the head short. OK, but if we're all looking at the same shit, where is the, the we haven't had one 30 minute candle close above Golden Pocket. As far as. It looks, it just looks like, so I'm going to be looking at lower low, and even if we do get a lower low, that's still possible too. So we need to watch that, or we need to watch that, whichever one it wants to do. So um, I, the only thing that would really uh, worry me, the only thing that I'm just want to make sure doesn't happen is I don't get uh, like stopped out on the head short. So I don't really like to get into positions during CPI because there's so many scam wicks and crazy volatility. Um, so I feel like I'm prepared and if for some reason we're going to make higher highs and then the short gets stopped out, maybe I'm looking for another head short. Where's the next, next head short that I'm looking at if this one doesn't work out? If I get stopped out and it makes a higher high, you guys know where the next level of interest is? Even on the smaller time frame, everybody knows where my next level of interest is. After the 05, where's my next level of interest? Right here, golden pocket. Right above those bad highs. All right, so think about it for a second. Everything has been talked about. Think about that for a second. I'm prepared if it does this. I'm prepared if it does this. I'm prepared if it does this. We gooch? Cool, right? I, I'm prepared if it does this. I'm prepared if it does this. I'm prepared if it does this. It does this. It's all on stream. So if you don't know, you just need to get caught up and rewind. Exclamation rewind, exclamation YouTube. Today, we're just going to let us up and enjoy the show. We already did all, a lot of the hard work. I stayed up until 2 o'clock in the morning with y'all. I already, I already put in the time. Let's go. The 2 chain motherfucker, the math is the math. 59 to 59.5 was the first level of interest. We did the whole thing live. Some of you took it at the 7.5 or Kimba box. That's awesome. I took it on the break. All right, so uh, I don't know how long we were talking about shorting 59,000 to 59,005, but got to the level. We, we looked at the data. We did it live. I have a long from here. And now we have a short from 59,000. All righty. So in essence, we did everything that we set out to do over the weekend as we started preparing for CPI. 
Uh, we have good positions, I think. And we're just going to see what happens tomorrow. It's the same thing that I use, you know, always do. Last time we had PPI in front of CPI, so it was a little bit different. But assuming that the CPI comes first before PPI, I'm always trying to get, in, I'm always trying to get into positions before. Any questions? JTAC, what's going on? Rafiq, let me get you subbed up. Um, so really, the only way that you wouldn't know what I'm doing, what the entries are, stop losses, is, is only if you haven't been able to uh, stay up to date. But that's okay. But everything is all there. All the VODs are, are there. Exclamation rewind is there. YouTube highlights are up there. Um... You know, even earlier in the morning, we talked about um, 58.2 as a potential short, uh, 58.7, 58.8 as a potential short. Um, and uh, all I'm trying to do, the long I'm not worried about because we're so far above it, but I just want to make sure that I don't get stopped out on the 59 short. Right? I just need to just in case it wants to do this, I need, you know, I've got a short right here. So I need to make sure that I don't get stopped out on that tonight. If I do, that's fine. Um, I need to either figure out re-entry or um, possibly looking at 61.4. Um, so levels really haven't changed. Send the house, Pepiga, Tasty, what about you guys? Any questions? Big Pun says, if you are not in a position, probably best to stay out of trade. Yeah, and Big Pun, here's the thing, Big Pun. Did I do really anything out of the blue, Big Pun? I think it was starting Monday. All I've been talking about is I want to short 59, 59.5. That's always been the level, right? And were you here when I was staying up until like 2, 2.30 in the morning? I had to do that because I had planned for it for so long, the opportunity was staring at me in the face. So, you know, I put in the time and the effort before. Now I'm sitting comfortable. I'm not doing this. I got a long here and a short here. So any sort of deviation outside of this value range, I'm good. And if it just wants to bing, 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 whatever. But it's really this break that I want to juice on, which will ultimately be the mega juice. And at the end of the day, it's never about trying to predict the future. It's about managing risk. I have a long from here and I have a short from here. Let's go. Y'all ready? Any questions? Anything you guys want to talk about? Anything you want to prep for? Macaulay Culkin in 13 minutes. What does that mean for some of you that don't know? S&P futures, NASDAQ futures, traditional market futures are going to be paused. It's like a one-hour weekend. Crypto will be the only thing trading in 13 minutes for an hour. Options, baby. What do you want to know about options, brother? What do you want to know? Bugama. But by the way, this really hasn't been that um, useful. So if you really, really, really want to nerd out, I would say that you should sort it by amount and really make sure that these guys opened at a favorable position for you. <sighs> You know, somebody could do something like, hey, man, I'm going to short 20 million from here. And I'm going to do uh, I'm going to have 5 million on 4x. All right. And uh, I'm going to short the 75. OK, but I'm also going to spend 50K 
buying options that will pay out big um or no maybe 250k i don't know or uh yeah 250k sounds about right if uh if um we close above 59,000 and the math is going to work out where no matter what happens it's a guaranteed profit guaranteed if this happens he gets stopped out no problem he juices but there's uh, like a way to really balance this shit out so you can always i don't want to say always winning but um always having like a really good net positive edge but there you go if you ever want to like nerd out um all right 11 more minutes let's fucking go let's fucking go like insurance exactly so it depends on when you buy it how much it costs you um and uh you could be winning no matter what manaka is asking do hoes love math Well, okay, so let's just break it down. Time is money. Right? Okay, which means money is the root of all evil. So money equals evil squared, square root, did we just accidentally figure out that women are evil, what the fuck, the math is the math though, what the Let's fuck going on, the math is the math, all right, y'all. Have a great night. I'll see you guys later. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace, y'all.